Hi, thank you for joining us. In this video, we will walk through Timber's data mapper using SQL as opposed to doing so in a visual manner without the use of code. Some people find it more convenient to use the SQL mapping method as they're already familiar with other create statements on the database level. In this video, we will cover the SQL option through the data mapper component and also how to map data directly from any SQL endpoint. So let's begin. We'll start with the data mapper method first. We'll click on the Model tab above and choose Data Mapper. Next, we'll choose the knowledge graph we want to map data to. Once chosen, we get all the existing mappings our knowledge graph has, and we can delete mappings or edit them by simply clicking on the pencil icon and adjusting the mapping as we please. To create a new mapping, we'll click on Map Data. First, Timber will ask us which type of mapping we want to add. We can see that there are three types of mappings concept mapping, many-to-many -many mapping, which refers to a many-to-many -many relationship, or multi-value mapping, which refers to a multi-value property of a concept. We will focus this video on the concept mapping option, though you're welcome to watch the dedicated videos for many-to-many -many and multi-value mappings. So let's continue and click on concept mapping. Now, when we enter the mapping window, we see that the default method chosen is the visual mapper. We cover the visual method in a separate video, in our case, we'll click on the SQL toggle on the top right to move to the SQL mapping. Next, we'll choose the concept we want to map data to by clicking below the concept where it says click to select. In this example, let's choose to map data to the concept contract. We now see that Timber generated a template for us to easily map the relevant table columns to the concept properties using SQL. In cases where we don't remember the column names of the table we want to map, we can easily load the metadata of each table by simply choosing the relevant data source, schema, and table. In this step, you can perform any operations, functions, and filters on the data. For a more advanced mapping, you can delete the mapping template and enter any SQL query including joiner union statements, just like you do when creating a view in the database. Once we're ready, we'll click on Create SQL Mapping to complete the mapping, and we're done. Another option to map data in SQL is to do so directly from any SQL endpoint that is connected to Timber, for example, a data science notebook. In our case, let's move to the SQL editor and see how easy it is to map data from there. Here, in the SQL editor, we only need to choose the knowledge graph we want to map data to. Now, we can leverage code snippets to load the SQL mapping template by hovering over the small keyboard logo, where we will see the relevant code snippets. So we can see that to load a concept mapping template, we simply need to write CMP in the SQL interface, and Timber automatically loads the mapping template. Now, we can add the relevant columns and properties and map the data with easy SQL statements. The same goes for other types of mappings, such as many-to-many -many relationship mappings with the command CMP MTM, and of course, the multi-value mapping as well with the snippet CMP MV. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how you can easily map data to your knowledge graph using SQL statements. In our next videos, we will cover the other types of mappings in Timber. Thanks for watching and have a great day.